What's up guys? I am Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through how to solve simultaneous equations using matrix. In my earlier videos, I explained how to solve simultaneous equation using substitution method, how to solve simultaneous equation using elimination method. I also dropped seven types of simultaneous equations you should expect. But this is a different ball game. Given this simultaneous equation, we are asked to solve it using matrix or if any occasion warrants you to solve simultaneous equation using matrix or to find any of these, this is how to go about it. Now, this is the equation. If you are asked to solve simultaneous equation using matrix, given this, you need to convert it to this form. Where this is S and Y, this is A, B, C, D, and this is C1 and C2. And this is A inverse, inverse of this. Also looking at this, in this form, S, Y is the same thing as S. Then A, B, C, D is also referred to as A, if you want to put it in one form. And the inverse, this is the inverse. C1 and C2 is the same thing as C. So what does that imply? When given a simultaneous equation, first of all, look for S, look for A, look for C, then A inverse. To get S from here is simply, you look at this simultaneous equation, that's S and Y. So this capital letter S is simply S, Y. That's S. Now, what if it were something like this? 3a plus 2b is equal 7. And 4a plus 3b is equal 10. If it were like this, s would simply be a, b. It represents the unknown or the values we are looking for. If you have to be l, m, n, no matter what it is, you put the variables here. Having understood that, how do we get C? C is simply the stuff that are here. C1 is this first guy and C2 is this second one. So C1, capital C, is the same thing as C1, C2, which is 7 and 10. So we've gotten C. Are you impressed? So let's look at A. Before A inverse, let's look at A first. So A is simply, you see, A is the same thing as A, B, C, D. What do they represent? The coefficient of these guys. Look at this. This S is carrying 3. That is the coefficient. This one is carrying 2. So you just take this one. 3, 2, 4, 3. So it's simply 3, 2, 4, 3. If here we are to be only S, the coefficient is simply 1. So here will have been 1. If it were, let's say minus s, here will simply be minus 1. So any coefficient that the variable is carrying, you pick it. So the coefficient of this y is 3. So that's why it is here. So we've gotten s, we've gotten c, and we've gotten a. How about a inverse? a inverse is simply the inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. Uh, the inverse is simply, we find the determinant first. So the a is simply three times three times three is nine minus four times two is eight. So the determinant is one. A inverse is simply add joint over determinant. We've already gotten determinant to be one. Add joint is look at how you get it. Switch here. Okay, with this it won't allow us understand if you have something like this 2 3 2 4 the adjoint is simply you take this 3 up and bring this 2 down you now be left with 3 2 then the, th the guys that are here make them negative so here is minus 2 here is minus 4 if it were minus 2 turn it to plus so we inverse the sign then switch the first one but for this in your mind, assume that this theory here has come up and this theory here has come down. So, 3, 3, 
minus 4 minus 2. So this is the as joint. Now, what is the inverse? Inverse is simply divided this adjoint divided by determinant. So three minus two minus four three over the determinant, which is one. So if it were a meaningful number, let's say two, you divide everything here by two. But now it's already one. So three divided by one is three. Minus two divided by one is two. So therefore a inverse is equals 3 minus 4 minus 2, 3. So we've gotten everything we want. So let's put it in this equation. S is the same thing as SY, which is this. So SY is equals, is equals A inverse, this inverse. So we've gotten A inverse to be 3 minus 2 minus 4 and 3 times c c1 c2 which is c7 10 and 10 what do we do next we multiply this matrix and i told you that the law of multiplication states that two matrices can be multiplied if the number of column in one matrix is equal to the number of row in the second matrix s y is equals if you don't still don't understand multiplication you can check my matrix multiplication video so we have this we have this three times seven three times seven plus minus two times ten plus minus two times ten so we use this column to multiply this row we are done then we come to this second one and see So, minus 4 times 7. Plus 3 times 10. So, this is equals... 3 times 7 is 21. So, here is 21. Plus minus 2 times 10. That's minus 20. So here is um, 7 times 4. That's minus 28. So this is minus 28. Plus 3 times 10 is 30. So S, Y is equals 21 plus, plus times minus is minus. So this is minus. 21 minus 20 is 1. Minus 28 plus 30 is 2. You see, our answer is ready. This is this and this is this. S is equals 1 and Y is equals 2. If we absorb it directly using substitution or elimination method, you would have gotten the same answer. So that is that on how to solve simultaneous equation using matrix. Feel free to let me know how you feel using the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Thank you.